The Wayne County Medical Examiner has confirmed that the victim in this shooting is 66 year old Clyde Edmonds, a man we've interviewed before here at 7 Action News. We miss you and we coming for you. I want my sister home. This is Clyde Edmonds speaking to reporter Heather Catalo last year as he fought for guardianship of his sister. The Wayne County Medical Examiner now confirms 66 year old Clyde Edmonds was the victim of this shooting Saturday night near his home on Detroit's west side, where police have named former MSU basketball star Keith Appling as their main suspect. They say Appling and Edmonds got into a verbal fight that turned physical before Appling fired multiple shots at Edmonds, killing him before speeding off in a tan Buick Regal. Police have not confirmed what led up to the fight or the relationship between Edmonds and Appling. Since ending a professional basketball career, Appling has had multiple run-ins with the law. The same week in February of 2020, when Edmonds' story aired on 7 Action News, Keith Appling was pulled over in Warren where police found drugs in his car. It turns out he had a, a significant amount of um, heroin in his car. And um, so we charged him with distribution or selling. Past December, Appling ended up with 18 months of probation for that felony that could have landed him 20 years in prison. About three years earlier, he spent a year in jail after multiple different weapons charges, including bringing a loaded assault rifle into a gentleman's club in Dearborn in 2016. And a few months later, he fled police in Detroit tossing a firearm out the window of his Dodge Charger before they finally pulled him over and he was arrested. And during sentencing in 2017, Appling addressed the court. I know I made some, 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 some mistakes, but I definitely learned from them and I'm just ready to get my life back on track. Appling is still on the run tonight. Police say he is considered armed and dangerous. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Reporting for 7 Action News, I'm Brett Cast.